Goes the king hence today. He does. He did a point so. The night has been unruly. Where we lay, our chimneys were blown down, and as they say, lamentings heard, I the heirs, strange streams of death, and prophesying accents terrible, of dire combustion and confused events, new hatch to the woeful time. The obscure bird clamored the live long night. Some say the earth was feverous and did shake. It was a rough night. My young remembrance cannot parallel a fellow to it. Oh, horror, horror, horror. Tongue nor heart cannot conceive nor name thee. What's, What's the matter? Confusion now hath made his masterpiece. Both sacrilegious murder hath broke ope the Lord's anointed temple and stole thence the life of the building. What is it? The life you say? You mean his majesty? Approach the chamber and destroy your sight with a new gorgon. Do not bid me speak. See and then speak yourself. Awake, awake, ring the alarm bell. Murder, murder and treason. Banco and Donovan. Malcolm, awake. Shake off this downy sleep, death's counterfeit. And look on death itself. Up, up and see the great tomb's image. Malcolm, Banquo, as from your graves, rise up and walk the sprites. The countenance says horror, this horror. Ring the bell. What's the business of such a hideous trumpet calls to parley? The sleepers of the house, speak, speak. Oh, gentle lady, tis not for you to hear what I speak. The repetition in a woman's ear will murder as it fell. Oh, Banquo, Banquo, our royal master has been murdered. Woe, alas, what in our house? Too cruel anywhere. Dear Duff, I prithee, contradict thyself, and say it is not so. I had never died an hour before this chance. I had lived a blessed time. For from this instant, there's nothing serious in mortality. All is but toys. Renown and grace is dead, the wine of life is drawn, and the mere least is left this fault to brag of. What is amiss? You are, and do not know it. The spring, the head, the fountain of your blood is stopped. The very source of it is stopped. Your royal father's mother. By whom? Those of his chamber, as it seemed, had done it. Their hands and faces were all badgered with blood. So were their daggers, which unwiped and found upon their pillows. They stared and were distracted. No man's life was to be trusted with them. Oh, yet do I repent me of my fury, that I did kill them. Wherefore did you so? Who can be wise, amazed, temperate and furious, loyal and neutral in the moment? No man. The expedition of my violent love outrun the pauser. Reason. Here lay Duncan, his silver skin laced with his golden blood, and his gash stabs looked like a breach in nature, for ruin's wasteful entrance. There the murderers, steeped in the colors of the trade, their daggers unmannerly breached with gore. Who could refrain? They had a heart to love, and in that heart courage to make love known. Oh, help me, Huntel. Look to the lady. Why do we hold our th tongues that most inclaim this argument for hours?